Hello, my name is Stacy Pickering and I am the Republican nominee for State Auditor. In 2003, I was elected to the Mississippi State Senate where I've had the privilege of serving as the chairman of the local and private committee and the committee on enrolled bills. For seven generations, my family has called rural South Mississippi home as we grew up living and working and playing on our family's dairy farm in rural Jones County. That's where I learned the values of hard work, discipline, and the values that makes Mississippi great. It is these values and this discipline and these lessons that I learned under the footage of my grandfather and father that I took to the Mississippi State Senate and worked with my colleagues to help continue to move Mississippi forward. In 2004, when I was sworn in, we inherited a $740 million budget deficit. With the hard work of Governor Haley Barber and the strong conservative leadership in the Mississippi State Senate and the House of Representatives, in two short years, we balanced the state budget with no tax increases. During that time, we also passed the most comprehensive tort reform package the nation had ever seen. That has created more jobs in Mississippi, and today, not only are more Mississippians working than at any point in the history of our great state, but they're making more money per capita than has ever been earned by working Mississippians. Mississippi truly is moving forward. But not only have we created a better business environment, creating greater opportunity in the future, we've also funded our priorities in Mississippi. Today, we are spending more money per student in the K-12 classroom than has ever been spent in the history of the state of Mississippi. I truly want to see my children have a better and a brighter future than what I had growing up in rural Jones County. And today, I can honestly say my children have that heritage and legacy delivered to them because of the hard, conservative, common sense leadership that has been demonstrated in the Mississippi legislature in the last four years. But not only are we creating a brighter future for our state, this current legislature and under the leadership and the efforts that we've had, we've been able to represent our values as Mississippians. Americans United for Life has named Mississippi as the safest state in the nation for unborn children. As we, re as we have stood up for the values of our, of our children and our aged in Mississippi. We've also founded the Mississippi Legislative Sportsman's Caucus, which is the largest sportsman's caucus in the nation, passing more legislation in a single year than any other caucus in the nation, representing our values as outdoorsmen, as hunters and fishermen, to protect that legacy for the next generation. Now I'm asking for your vote as your state auditor to continue that same conservative, common sense leadership to help continue to move Mississippi forward, to work with businesses around the state, to make sure that we're remaining accountable government as our economy continues to grow into the future. As your next state auditor, we will work diligently with our local elected officials to make sure your government is accountable not only to you, the taxpayers, but also to the next generation, creating a better business environment and a better quality of living and a higher standard of living for the next generation of Mississippians. As your next state auditor, I will work with our local elected officials to make sure they have the training, the resources, and the education they need to be financially accountable to us, the taxpayers. One thing I've learned while serving in the Mississippi State Senate is that most elected officials truly do get into politics for the right reason. They really do want to make their community, their city and county, a better place to live and a better place for the future. I want to be a partner with them to make sure they have the resources that they need to do the job that you have elected them to do. But not only do we work with them on the front end, as with any organization, there's always a very small minority who will take advantage of any situation they find themselves in. And those are the individuals that we have to hold accountable. And we have to root out government fraud and government waste. And we will hold them to a accountable to the trust that we as the taxpayers and the voters of this great state expect of our elected officials. But not only will we work for accountability, but we will continue to work to make sure that government operates more efficiently and more effectively. Rooting out government waste and wasteful spending and getting us to operate within our means and having accountable government and also having efficient government. By using performance audits like Texas and Missouri, we can save millions of taxpayer dollars in Mississippi by helping local governments and state agencies find more efficient and effective ways to spend our tax dollars. A performance audit is very different than a financial audit. It's a management tool where they can find what their best practices are. And we can actually find those agencies and those governments that are being good stewards of the taxpayer dollars and use their practices to replicate across the state of Mississippi. 
We can also find agencies that are being wasteful or spending money in ways that are antiquated to help them update and upgrade into more efficient and effective government through performance audits. I'll give you a good example. The county in Jones County, where I'm from, the local school district got ready to issue a bond initiative and to ask the voters to pass that last year. Before they ever came to the voters and came to the parents and the families of Jones County, they had a performance audit done so that they could stand before the voters of Jones County and show them that they were being good stewards of the tax dollars that they were currently receiving. The initiative passed by over 90% of the vote because the voters had confidence in their local elected officials. And by being a partner as the next state auditor with our local governments, our school boards, our counties, and our cities, we can help them build the confidence among their voters and their constituents across the state of Mississippi while at the same time identifying what our best practices of management are so that we can operate more efficiently and more effective. And when we do that in government, we not only get the government that we as taxpayers expect, but as your next state auditor, I will make sure that you get the government that you as a taxpayer deserve. So not only will we work on accountability and efficiency in government, rooting out government fraud and preventing government fraud and working to prevent government waste, our biggest issue facing our state in the next few years is continued recovery and rebuilding of our South Mississippi following Hurricane Katrina. I've never been prouder of Mississippians than the days after the storm, after it hit, even matter of fact, the first few minutes. Neighbors and family and friends were leaving their homes, getting their chainsaws, their, their trucks, and coming out to check on their family and their friends and neighbors all across South Mississippi. That's truly what makes Mississippi great, and we want to pass that heritage and legacy on. But the nation took notice during that time also, and they saw that we didn't wait for a handout that we were simply asking for the resources and the help that we needed so that we could help ourselves. The nation has answered that request and seen our need. And with $40 billion of federal money flowing through our state agencies and our local governments, we now more than ever must be diligent to protect our reputation and to protect our integrity. As your next state auditor, I will work with those government officials in the, those, those six coastal counties in South Mississippi to make sure they have the checks and balances on the front end so that there is no question when it comes to their reputation personally and that of our state. We must be diligent about the future so that the national media doesn't come back and point their fingers and say, see, Mississippi is no different than their neighbors. We want to continue to show that Mississippi is different. And by showing that Mississippi is different and that we are accountable, that we are open with how we not only spend our money and how we help our neighbors and friends, but we are accountable in how we do that, we will continue to attract industry to our great state and we'll continue to have the government that we as taxpayers expect and that we as taxpayers deserve. As your next state auditor, help me in building a better and a brighter future for Mississippi by standing up for our reputation and our integrity by working for efficient and effective government and making sure that we as taxpayers of Mississippi have the government that we expect and that we deserve. I'm Stacy Pickering, the Republican nominee for state auditor, and I humbly ask for your vote and your support.